All right, this, this video is about saturated fats. If you haven't seen the previous one on hydrogenation, go ahead and go back and watch that one. Um, but we're going to talk about saturated fats. Now, fat in general is just a really big topic, and we don't have a lot of time to go over this in a YouTube clip here, but uh, I do want to talk specifically about saturated fats because it's the most misunderstood one. It has been demonized and construed for a number of years. Back in the 1950s, um, this dude named Ansel Keys came up with the lipid hypothesis, which showed this correlation between saturated fat and heart disease. And since then, all kinds of studies have proven, in fact, the, the absolute opposite of that. Um, but it didn't matter because a, a process had already started that um, these, these refineries started mass producing um, vegetable oils um, in, instead of uh, using saturated fats. So they have all these, these oils and they want them to be um, used by the public. And so they, uh, they would fund any research um, that was in favor of saturated fats being bad for you. Um, anyone that supported Ansel Key's lipid hypothesis, they would fund those ones. And so all these other studies that were done, they weren't funded as well. And so they didn't get out into the media as well. Their, their works weren't published as, 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 as massively as, as the other ones were. So the confusion kind of started there. And uh, during this time, uh, saturated fats uh, became the killer fat. Everyone thought that this is the one that, that kills you. Now, the way I look at this, and let's put all the studies aside, I mean, because there's, there's plenty of evidence out there and we, we could spend all day on it, but is God stupid? I mean, really, it, it, did, did he create us um, and make all of these uh, saturated fats and put them into, into animals and put them into the foods to kill us? I don't think so. That, that, that just doesn't make sense um, that, that saturated fats would do that to us. That's not his goal. Um, also, if you look at our history, after that time period when, when all this, the, the saturated fat became known as, as the killer and heart disease causing fat, um, saturated fat intake in America just plummeted. Vegetable oils, and hydrogen oils went up. So you've got saturated fat consumption down and you've got the other processed fats going up. And guess what happened to heart disease? It went up tremendously. And also you don't have to be a scientist to figure that out that that is obviously not working. Um, the Weston Price is a really cool guy. He went, he went around the world for a number of years studying different cultures and um, and he would study their dietary habits he was a dentist and he was he wanted to check out their teeth and see um, you know what was what they were eating and how it how it correlated with with um, their diseases and their and their dental health and what he found was pretty interesting because all of these cultures they were eating their native foods and so many of them were eating these the plentiful sources of, of saturated fats and and they were free of disease these people didn't have heart disease they didn't have cancer they weren't dying of diabetes they didn't have these illnesses um, because they were eating all of these healthy fats that were keeping the healthy fat does so many things in your body uh, we don't even have time to go over the number of benefits of saturated fat but there are tons um, let well, I'll just mention one um, and this, cause this is what, what Price was realizing, is that there were all these um, cultures that had the, uh, the four vitamins, A, D, E, and K, um, in there from eating the fats. And that was something that was very deficient in America. And they are fat-soluble vitamins, um, w w which just means that they're usually found in uh, fat sources. And they also are absorbed better when fat is present. Um, and so these, these uh, vitamins were keeping people healthy in a multitude of ways. He was most interested in their teeth, but he realized and took notes that there were tons of other 
health benefits. He wrote a book called Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. So if you want to read that, it's a, it's a fascinating study and, and uh, very eye-opening to what is going on. So saturated fats, they're found usually in animal products. Um, some really good sources of it. Uh, coconut oil is phenomenal source of it. Some palm oil is also a good source. Um, these are going to be the, the, uh, the fats that you want to take in um, as much as you can. Now, obviously, if uh, too much of anything is bad for you, so you're not just going to sit around eating saturated fat all day because that would be wrong. But the health benefits of it are, ne are necessary, and there's so many studies that are showing all of these illnesses that are due to a lack of quality fats. So all of you out there on your low-fat diets and low cholesterol and all this craziness that you know the, the, the media says that we're supposed to do, stop doing it. it is, it's the wrong, uh, wrong plan. It's the wrong idea. Um, and you've been misinformed about what fat is doing in your body. It is not making you fat. In fact, saturated fat helps you burn fat when you eat the correct fats, and there's a lot of fats that you need to eat. All You want the good ones and not the bad ones. In fact, I have a list of them, and, and if, you want, uh, if you want me just to, I'll email the list to you, and you can have it and post it on your refrigerator or something so you can, you can stick to eating the healthy fats, which have the healthy benefits, and stay away from the bad fats, which have horrible side effects. So email me, and I'll send you that list. Um, but saturated fats has been demonized for so many years, and it's just now starting to come out that, hey, it's, we've been wrong about this. Just look at our history, and you can figure that out on your own without even doing the studies yourself. So I encourage you to look into it um, on your own. If you have any questions about fats in general or saturated fat, email me, and I'll address them here, or I'll just talk to you about it in private. Um, but we really need to get a grasp on what's going on here. Okay? Probably do another video here about fats. Um, but anyway, have a great Thanksgiving. Um, it's coming up just two days from now, and it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, don't eat too much, uh, but have a great holiday season, and we'll see you soon.